Today I'm going to review five freeware games at once, starting with Noritu Love. It's styled after the 8-bit era. A wave of robots invades the city, led by the evil Dr. Darnicus Damnation. Oh, what a name. At first I didn't think I was going to like this game. Walk into a room, punch stuff till it dies, walk into the next room, punch stuff till it dies. Beat em ups usually aren't my thing. But Noitu surprised me. To start with, you can transform into a few different forms. And some of the enemies are very creative. Kamikaze Nunbots! Genius! There's a great deal of care put into this game, and it shows in the little things. Like this organ. If you jump on it, it makes a sound like you slammed on the keys. If you move up and down the keys, it changes pitch depending on where you are on the keyboard. <laughs> and I thought I was the only one to mine my ventilation systems with explosives. What really sealed the deal for me is the bosses. Especially this guy. He's just so much fun to fight. Now that's an arm. Yeah, as long as you don't pick your nose. What? 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 I'm all for want and evil, but Disco Deathbots? That's just wrong. Unfortunately, this game has one severe flaw. If you're viewing this video at full screen, that's not the size you'll be playing the game at. This, here, is the actual size of the game. Even if I try to expand it, here's what happens. Imagine turning on your Nintendo and finding the game is just a little square in the middle of your television. All in all, I think the Wii 2 Love is a pretty good game. It's clear the author, Joaquin Sandberg, had a lot of fun designing this game. If you're watching this at www.gamersnark.com, there's a link directly below this video to Joachim's website, from which you can download this game, as well as... The Legend of Princess! This game has a very good engine, with a variety of sword techniques, secondary items, and well-crafted bosses. Just look at that hookshot action! If Luido could have performed half these attacks, his game would have been beyond awesome! Thankfully, this game really can go full screen. When you start the game, you choose your secondary items, and this choice affects the gameplay significantly. But also, these items serve to determine the game's difficulty. You can actually throw the rooster at enemies as an attack! The best thing about this fan game is definitely the bosses. Just once I'd like to play Dark Link with Link as the boss. Sadly, the game has no shops, so rupees serve no real function. They're just your score. <laughs> this fairy is doomed! Legend of Princess also leaves you wanting more. A lot more. The game only has one dungeon, and you can beat it in less than half an hour. It has enough replay value to be fun a couple times through, but you'll have played it out in just a couple hours. It seems the author made it just to take a break from another project. Also by Joachim, Tripline! This is a surprisingly fun and addictive puzzle game. Basically, you just connect all the shapes and groups of three without crossing your own line. I just love the paper sound it makes when you reset. The only thing this game is missing is an option to build your own stages. I could really see downloading a few hundred fan-made puzzles for this game. Then there's... Chunk! This is my personal favorite out of Joaquin's freeware. It's played entirely with the mouse. Dodge stuff flying at you. Block bullets and stun enemies by drawing lines. Connect bullets back to your attackers. 
and many even crazier things. Your chalk foo is weak. The game takes place inside a chalkboard, which gives it a really different feel from anything I've ever played. The bosses are very creative. Feel the wrath of my scythe monkey. The whole game is just a blast to play. And my aliens. My seafood assault. Zen guy who just sits there. It doesn't take up your full screen, but you have limited ability to reach outside what you can see, which, oddly, Add something to the gameplay. Face my crazy mass monster. Nintendo, why isn't this game on WiiWare or the DS yet? Just look at it. It's perfect. And lastly, there's the unfinished Ivory Springs. Unfortunately, like Noe 2. You cannot full-size this game. I really like the music and graphics. The art kind of reminds me of Cave Story, though perhaps a bit more colorific. But best of all, you get to play a mechanic. Yes, a mechanic. She's got a wrench and everything. Of course, being a freelance mechanic is a crime in her world. Historical fact. The Great Mechanic Inquisition is the actual reason mad science layers always include a self-destruct button. The best part of the game is the bosses. Just check out this crazy thing. I'm actually disassembling it while I'm fighting it. I love that. I can only imagine what sort of boss is next. Personally, I can't wait to start building the death bots and. Or just get shot by a tank. Why don't more villains think of that? And that's all of Zerwak Games' free games. Well, No Way to Love 2 isn't free, but the demo is. So let's check that out too. The first thing you'll notice is the music and graphics are superior to the original, and that it really can go full screen. Unlike the original, I was actually a little suspicious of using a mouse in a platformer, but the controls are actually very good, and I got used to them right away. Still, you might want to go through the tutorial. A tank boat. Why don't I have a tank boat? Where are you going? To build a tank boat. Don't forget to give it a huge, flashing weak point. What do you take me for? Of course it'll have a weak point. This frantic game is on a whole different level from his free world works. At a mere ten dollars, I'm definitely buying this game. The last thing I'll mention is Joaquin does all the art, music, programming, Pretty much everything by himself, which always impresses me. He is definitely one of the top indie game developers, and I look forward to his future works.